Nigga! Hold on, yo. What's good? What's hood? What's geek about this? Host Jake the Mad Kid, aka Jake, the leader of the Cloud Village Rock Kaga here speaking, aka Jake, the Golden Pharaoh of the South, back on the episode of uh hardware legacy last episode pretty much we in here with these goddamn fucking spiders and open pray we get fucking done with this shit so I, i'm tired of being this fucking cave and all that bullshit but that's what i hope y'all enjoy this episode if y'all do man leave a like comment share subscribe hit that button. it'll be notified when i drop another video on the channel let's hop into it Must be getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jack Doll. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Damn, they really cut your damn. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Doll. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Come on. Yeah, ain't worse than no damn spiders, so I give y'all that. Oh damn! Come on now. Yeah, come on. Ooh, shit, nigga. You were mighty close. Oh damn, I ain't know you I ain't even know you jump, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Nigga! Hold on, y'all. Is it a nigga? Hold on, y'all. I thought you really gonna smack my ass for a good minute. This nigga really fucking is. Ooh. 
Damn, nigga, he's throwing him off. Yo, my man, break down. I was one of them, okay. What? That's nothing. What's happening? Rebellion. Oh my god, bro. Green gods have no strength in such. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. You're worried about the wrong thing, my man. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Why do you ask questions? Just shut the fuck up and just go, bro. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of it. Why it takes so long, dude? What is this place? Rebellion. Can it be? Can it be? Who is these? Oh. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them i won't professor thank you we have much to discuss but first a map found in a certain book led you here place the book on the pedestal i don't have the book with me sir hmm that is unfortunate i'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book damn all right well, fuck you too, nigga. very well I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Well, I'm supposed to be like, skip my skill tree or something like that. Man. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? That's what I'm saying too, bro. Rebellion. 
<laughs> back in Hogwarts or something like that. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't be back to study as well. Anyway, suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. Oh my lord, I'm tired of using locked doors. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. What nigga? Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone can <coughs> practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, we up, up! You stupid ratty school broom. Nick, we say that. Oh, up. One leg over, so there's a. Why are you looking so serious? None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. My question, we said, oh. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <laughs> the brooms are brilliant. full property. I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Think we can buy one, nigga. We can rob a nigga. <laughs> what you mean? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? <laughs> this next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay. What a view! <laughs> Good. I've got this. Oh, it's it. All right. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. As far as yeah, it's your ass, little boy. This shit look. Oh, are we flying, boy? Oh. Aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> <gasps> <This> shit, <sir. laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Brilliant. Why you can't try to talk to me? Let me be B. What, nigga? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more nigga, challenging. Alone, but alone. I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. 
Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Hmm. Ah, oh, Nikki, get him off his nigga. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. <laughs> Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Lovely as ever, show boy! Yeah. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. For my taste. How is flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? My hippogriff? Bro, There's shut the it! Famous bridge. Listen. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Smiling tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Hey, he's so annoying. I ain't gonna lie. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Told nigga nah, but he ain't gonna listen. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Mm. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. The idea. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> this ain't look. See, look, 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 Sorry about that business with Kagawa. You can stay away from me. You have to admit, those views were worth it. I really not. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You see a broom on a broom? Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Man, please leave me alone, nigga. You not my fool, All right. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> well, she fine. <clears throat> she is fine. I gave you that. 
Shady. <sighs> She's a neat little character. What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student Rebellion. might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. <laughs> All right. Okay. Splendid. <clears throat> Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Y'all gonna let Bossy, y'all gonna let me. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Yeah, I ain't gonna let Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Can't tell me twice. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Rebellion. You were painting. Action. Rebellion. Okay, you got you. You ain't you ain't that. Okay. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh yeah. I know you was not trying to fight me, bro. Rebellion. Lanterns. Chinese lanterns. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. Ouch. Okay. Let me see something real quick, y'all. We got. Boss, we we hitting the limits of stuff we can't use, so I really don't like this this system, how you gotta hold it. It takes for a good minute for it just to be destroyed. Oh, 
Okay. We hope that house elf can find us in here. Ah. I know that thing didn't turn invisible too, I think. There we go. Wee hoo! The homie. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Mm -hmm. Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. <clears throat> the room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Shanim. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. Oh, You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Rebellion. I'll shut your ears as I go show. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. 
I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't Ooh, you... Oh, Lord, mercy. Go ahead and conjure the potion <laughs> and potting table. God damn. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Can you please leave now? Nigga, let me call this motherfucker up. Okay. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle. Okay, plants. come on. Thank you. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Gotcha. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another. No, are you are waiting for y'all to go. Oh, where did it go? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I call this a video too, so I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Harry Potter, I mean, Hogwarts Legacies. And I'll see y'all next time. So that's out of the way. May the Gypsy Gods bless y'all. Check this out. Peace.